All right, let's see what's going on with four. So I've never covered four, so I'll see how the reaction of this video goes. And if it does well, then, you know, I might continue covering it. If you've never heard of four before, it's, you know, another one of those nodes, kind of like a strong block. Uh, jumping right into the video, you know, we have pretty much broken all market structure now. There's, there's no point, but I'll do it anyway, uh, just to show you that there's no point. If I draw the fib from the high to the low, the 236 is all the way up here where the 0.5 is. So, you know, there's, there's literally no point in even looking at that because we're nowhere near it. If I come to a slightly more midterm fit, uh, fib from the low to the high up here, you can see, you know, your last line in the sand was really the 63. I don't know why it stopped down there. Let's see if there's another fib. So, is this is this the bottom one? No, it's not. This this is the top. So yeah, I don't know why this stopped down here. Um, there's no other lows apart from this one down here. So potentially this could be where we stopped. Uh, let's drag it to the side. Uh, but I, I mean, I guess if I did the fib from there, I'd draw it all the way to the all-time high. So, so I don't really know why it stopped there, but nonetheless, we've got our two fibs running on this chart right now. We are below both of these 786s, so, you know, in my opinion, we're coming down to the lows that we put down here at 14 to... Uh, let's, let's keep it conservative to start with. Let's say $22, and then we'll see if we hold 22 So, I just need to find all of my tools. I normally use trading view, but this was an on-trading view, so... Uh, your last line in the sand, uh, well, I mean, we've already broken through the last line in the sand, so we're really just looking for a place to bounce for this. So these are your two lows that you want to hold. If we don't hold these, you know, we're, we're basically going to go down to, to zero, or the only other place I see it bouncing from is, you know, like 13 cent, 14 cent. So definitely not what you want to hear if you are in strong. Obviously, all of the market structure is bearish. I mean, uh, I, I don't really need to outline it. I, there's probably not like a linear trend line that because we would have broken above it. But, you know, if we kept on going down, we would have been at zero by now. So uh, what I mean by that is obviously if I take a trend line, uh, we're here right now. So if we were below this trend line, we'd, we'd be literally at zero. So in my opinion, that is the only reason why we've broken out. Um, if I unminimalize this, the, the market cap is still very, very low for this, or it's, it's gone down a lot. 31 million market cap, so I imagine when this does have a pump, if it does have a pump, it will probably be a sight to be seen, something like this. But, you know, I'm not saying that's going to happen anytime soon. I am short to midterm bearish on this. Um, I'm, as a rule of thumb, I'm not really bullish on any nodes. I mean... Uh, most of the nodes I've seen uh, that I've I've covered before or I've looked at in my years of crypto, they normally all do trend towards zero at some point. So, you know, pe people come, nodes come and go. Uh, there'll be new nodes coming out all the time, and you know, people forget about these. So, uh, at least from a technical perspective, uh, not you know bringing my opinion into this. If we do use a price chart, this is really the only the the most conservative place I see is bouncing from, and that is this low down here. We're taking out this low right now. So so, uh, and obviously we're below the seven, to both of the 786s. So really the only place I see us bouncing from is down here at 22. If we do lose 22, uh, we would have a 54% drop on our hands, which is another 37% drop from where we are. So all in all, like I said, uh, if you are a four fan, uh, I would be looking to hold 22 to $23. Let's round it down, give it the benefit of the doubt and say 22. Because as you can see, sometimes we do just spike through the 786s, go back above it. So, you know, it is fairly volatile. I would not be surprised if we came down to, you know, 22 and had a bounce. Uh, but all in all, this this 22 is like really your last line in the sand. And I mean that as a short term thing, because these 786s were your last line in the sand. 63 to 70 or 69 were the last places I personally would have wanted to see this hold. I don't think there's any micro fibs. I mean, I could draw a fib from here to here. I really wouldn't consider it a, a proper fib, but you can also see the 2.618 kind of lines up with this target down there not really too much of a of a fan of that microfib because it has it is just such little data and we have gone sideways for so long i wouldn't consider it valid but like i said 22 is where you'd want to bounce from last line in the sand is 1427 if we do lose 1427 there's really nowhere else to go but pretty much zero so that's pretty much all i see uh if you are a four fan best of luck keep an eye on 22 if we do lose that in my opinion it is going to get very very ugly in the short term so 
that's all I see for four. Once again, best of luck. None of this is financial advice. This is just my opinion on the market. And you've always got to do what's best for you. Peace.